happy to finally be releasing Edge after a very long wait with a lot of testing and development. Um, in essence, Edge is a copolyester or PETG type material with a huge focus on printability and ease of printing. Um, we've modified all sorts of things in here, viscosity, adhesion modifiers, um, really we're quite confident at this point that Edge is a suitable replacement for both ABS and PLA, it kind of brings in best of both worlds. Uh, we've got the toughness and impact strength um, approaching ABS, uh, higher temperature resilience than PLA, much tougher than PLA as well. Really our focus with Edge was about designing material that's incredibly easy to print and is pleasant to print. Edge doesn't smell, it's basically no warp, it sticks to itself and to the bed like you wouldn't believe. Uh, a lot of work has gone into adhesion modification. Uh, it's also a very tough material, way tougher than PLA and perhaps even tougher than ABS. By using PTG or copolyesters as our base resin, we get a lot of really nice properties for 3D printing. Um, one of those is very high melt strength, and melt strength is how strong the molten plastic is, how well it is pulled over areas, um, and that means that bridging and overhangs and things, they all really rely on melt strength, as does the filling of top solid surface layers. And Edge has exceptional melt strength, and it allows us to pull off some really incredible bridges, overhangs that go right over to kind of 10, 15 degrees off of the bed. An interesting but not much discussed aspect of copolyesters and PTG um, is something called hydrolysis, which is, although these materials absorb very little moisture, that small amount of moisture that they do absorb undergoes a chemical reaction with the polymer chains. Uh, what that does is it cuts the polymer chains in half when the water molecule meets them in the centre, and it reduces the length of those chains. And in doing so, it makes the material more brittle. So it's important that Edge and all other PETG, copolyester type materials that you do print are kept reasonably dry. Uh, if they're very wet, they become significantly more brittle once they're printed, because whilst they're in the nozzle, they undergo that hydrolysis reaction. Another benefit of using these base resins is that polyesters have extremely high intermolecular forces. What that means in a practical sense is that when you put a polyester on top of a polyester, they stick. And they don't just stick by mechanically keying into one another, you're forming a chemical bond. And that means that the interlayer adhesion between parts printed in Edge is exceptional. Uh, it really is very, very notably different to something like ABS, which tends to pull apart along the layers. With a material printed in Edge, with a model printed in Edge, what you're going to see is almost isotropic, i.e. same in all directions, strength of part, which is a huge step forward.